Dear friends, Namaste and that's from Neek Wig in front of you. Friends, today I shall be talking to you here about pranayamas and food therapy for people suffering from cancer. Now friends, there are several pranayamas for people suffering from cancer. However, according to me, the important ones are number one, internal retention of breath, number two, external retention of breath, number three, kapal bhati, number four, Nadi Shodhan Pranayama, number five, external retention num, uh, Nadi Shodhan Pranayama, number six, double retention Nadi Shodhan Pranayama, number seven, Antra Pranayama, number eight, Bhaya Pranayama, and lastly, rapid Anuloma Viloma. So, friends, these are the important pranayamas for people suffering from cancer. Friends, today I shall be showing you the technique of one of my very favorite pranayamas which is called as Nari Shodhan Pranayama. Now the technique goes like this. First you make an Apan Mudra like this with your active hand. After that close your right nostril and exhale out all your breath. That is your starting position. Now inhale from left to the count of 4. Close both to the count of 16. Exhale from right to the count of 8. Now inhale from right to the count of 4. Close both to the count of 16. Lastly exhale from left to the count of 8. So friends that was Nari Shodhan Pranayama. Now friends remember two things as you are doing this Pranayama. The first thing each time you inhale, your abdomen should expand. Each time you exhale, your abdomen should contract. Secondly, remember to follow the ratios. Each time you inhale to the count of 4, you hold your breath to the count of 16 and you exhale to the count of 8. Now friend, that was Nari Shodhan Pranayama. Now as far as food therapy is concerned for cancer patients, remember to take in a lot of antioxidants in your diet. Now antioxidants are basically free radical scavengers. They are very potent, important substances which uh, remove the free radicals from our system. Now all products in which you find vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C, flavonoids, carotenoids, zinc, selenium, they have a lot of antioxidants in them. Now, vitamin A, E and C, you can find a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. You can find a lot of seeds. Like vitamin C, you'll find in most of citrus foods. You'll get a lot of that in guava. You'll get a lot of that in broccoli. Vitamin A, you'll get in papaya. You'll get in carrot. You'll get in mango. And you'll get in several orange, yellow colored uh, fruits. Vitamin E, you'll get in nuts. You'll get in seeds. You'll get in soy products. You'll get in a lot of vegetables. So try to take in a lot of vitamin A, E and C. Then try to take in a lot of flavonoids in your diet. Flavonoids like quercetin, you'll find in apples, you'll find quercetin in onions. Then, you, then try to take in catechins. Catechins are again a quality of flavonoids what you'll find in uh, green tea. Then try to take in a lot of berries. Berries have anthocyanins which are very good antioxidants and you can find uh, anthocyanins in all berries like blueberries, cranberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries. They also have elegic acid in them which is again anti-cancerous. Then try to take in a lot of garlic in your diet. Garlic, wheatgrass are again very good for people suffering from cancer. Friends for further details you're most welcome to contact me directly at my personal cell which is plus nine one nine eight one zero one seven eight one four zero you can also visit my website which is www.ramneekwig.com. Thank you friends and have a great day ahead.